How's it going again guys? We're here to check out my skin picks and this has been a tough week. Uh, that time off for the Lunar New Year gave everybody a ton of time to make some really awesome stuff. So I pulled some stuff that was missed that was uploaded during the Lunar New Year that wasn't Lunar New Year as well as new stuff and there's just been a ton of things. So let's get into it. We're going to start here with some hoodie sets starting with this one for the caution set from Bad Trip. It's a pretty popular set, it has quite a few weapons and stuff, and it's cool to see that it's finally getting something in the clothing department. We've got a big keep out, we've got that biohazard symbol on the hoodie, and yeah, it's just the usual, you know, black and yellow colors you would see from there. On the pants, you've got the radiation symbol, some extra strappy straps, and some other little pieces. It's kind of like a fresh set, but it's not like that bright yellow, it, it's got kind of more like a tan to it. And uh, I think that's kind of nice because it doesn't stand out as much. And, uh, you know, comparison to the desert, not too bad. Definitely not too bad for sure. Next, we've got a very cool looking space suit. So I remember at one point there was a commit from Rust about a space suit of some sort. Uh, I think it's probably just going to be like a novelty item. Guys, don't think we're going to space or something. I mean, that would be totally awesome. But, you know, again, a novelty. Um, but hey, for now, maybe we'll get this sweet hoodie and pants set. I'd love the look of it. It's got all the little cobalt symbols on it. It's fresh. It's really nice looking and it's kind of dirty too. It's, it's not exactly completely clean. So it fits into rust quite well. And, uh, yeah, it's just all together really well done. I would love to see this thing in game. I also like that there's a couple little patches like this one back here. Like, don't worry, your space suit won't leak. We got some duct tape on that. Next up, we've got the Race Club set by Mishka, and it's what you would expect, you know, racing stuff. It's bright, uh, you've got all sorts of little race stuff, the CCSC, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we've got Race Club, we've got the little uh, racing wheel, we've got Cobalt written here, and uh, yeah, it's just number one. Haha. <laughs> And those are some nasty elbows, man. You gotta watch where you're putting your stuff. You're like, you just sit down and just stick your arm in like a pile of goo or something, man. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, definitely another cool hoodie set. Uh, there's a lot of cool clothing this week, so let's get to looking at the rest of it. We got two sets of road sign for you this week, starting with the now pretty popular Doodle set. So yeah, I mean, it's it's got what you would expect from the Doodle set. All over it. And there you have it. So this one's been really popular. A lot of people love the simplistic design to it. It's also nice because it's not perfectly clean. There's kind of like a little mud and scuffs on it as well. It's definitely a very unique set. And I see if people were spending a lot of time in a real world like Rust, they'd probably go nuts and start doing weird stuff anyways. And these kind of skins just fit into that goofy side of Rust, and I love it. Next, we've got the Vampire Road Sign set. Oh, there goes the kilt. I was like, oh, no, the kilt's not coming in. And uh, yeah, I love the mask. I really like the vampire teeth. I think it's really, really cool looking. I think he did a good job on that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's everything you'd expect from a vampire set. You've got your tendrils of purple. It is not a glowing set. And uh, I think that's mostly just because people don't want to be running around in glowing armor. <laughs> uh, that vampire face is down here again with a strap through uh, it. I think that's pretty cool. I also kind of like the little checkers uh, on the actual straps down here as well. It's definitely a cool set, and if you're a fan of the Vampire, I'm sure you'll be hoping for this one this week. Next up, we've got a very tactical looking set. This one is really awesome. It is the USF set by FaZe. We've got this epic looking plate carrier here. Very well done. A lot of people love this kind of stuff and have wanted one. I know we got a couple different plate carriers, but they're really old, and uh, it'd be nice to get a nice updated camo one. And then he did a really good job on the Riot helmet with it. I know Helk hates it when they get paired up with different stuff, but the Riot helmet just looks so good with so many chess piece designs that are like military-esque. I almost wish we had a better Riot helmet helmet or something, but yeah, I think he did a really good job. I love the bullet mark in the actual visor. I think it's really cool, and uh, I think a lot of people would love this tactical look for sure. All right, on to the deployables we go. We're going to start backwards today with an armored door. So everyone really liked the marine uh, garage door, and now we've got the marine blast double armored door. 
So we'll go ahead and toggle the hatch there. And yeah, this thing is just epic looking. I love, love the design of it. Of course, the armored doors, they can be different on each side. So the back has the little push bars for the fire escape and everything. And I, I just love this. I would buy this thing up in a second. We definitely need some more armor door skins. So this one is a winner for sure this week. I'd uh, definitely love to pick one up myself. <coughs> it's tumbling over my words there, but... All right, now we've got some couple of cool sheath metal doors for you. Starting with this one right here. This is the Pit Stop Door by M Demon, and it's got a wood behind it, but don't let that trick you. It's got some sheet metal pieces attached to it, as well as like a little tire and some race stuff. I think a lot of people were thinking maybe the cars were going to make it this update, but it doesn't look like it, so we need to wait a little bit longer for that. But nonetheless, very, very cool looking door. I also like the custom handle on it. Very cool design. Next up, we've got this crazy door, and to see the full thing of it, we're going to have to go and take a look-see at night. Oh, well, that worked. And it, it doesn't glow. You can see over here, this one does. But it, does, it just looks really cool at night. It almost fluoresces in a way but it's not actually glowing. And I think that's kind of a cool little thing. Like, it's just the colors look so nice at night. And uh, I think that's pretty epic. And while we're here, we'll take a look at the little lighthouse door at night. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It's definitely a really nice door here. And it's from, of course, Vitalik, who makes very, very beautiful stuff anyways. And I just love the look of this. It's got that sheet metal kind of cast iron kind of look to it going on as well as it just all it, it looks like someone just kind of attached a bunch of sheet metal with rivets in the shape of this beautiful lighthouse and it's nice but yeah this door right here just definitely love it guys it looks so cool uh and uh yeah i know it's a little bit different from the usual stuff but i couldn't skip it for that reason and then continuing here we've got the biohazard door so a lot of people like Shedman's biohazard furnace and well he went and redid the door and I think he did a good job and uh, yeah it's just uh, very unique I like the look of it and if you ever want your cam to look like it may be full of diseases well hey here's how you do it <laughs> all right anyways moving on we've got a little fuel box here for you guys and uh, it's the hot rod box by Andre it's got flammable liquid written, lit, written on the side <laughs> And yeah, it's just altogether a really cool box. I love the little artwork on it, and uh, it's definitely a neat one for sure. Then over here, part of Red Rex's toothed set, we've got the toothed box. And yeah, it's just a unique looking box. I like the little scraps of like fabric through it, and there's teeth hanging all around it. And then the top, there's a bunch of teeth laid out on it. And I, sometimes the textured stuff on top, Hulk doesn't like too much, but I thought the box was cool, and I want to make sure to show it. So this one's kind of a maybe this week, but uh, just for the top. So we'll see how that goes. And lastly, over here, we've got ourselves a sleeping bag. It is the salvaged hazmat bag. Uh, there is a bandana, I believe, in the game. And there may be or not may or may not be another piece. I can't remember. But this is a continuation of that set. And it's basically just literally made out of the hazmat suit tore one up and said you know what sleeping is more important than uh, no radiation or maybe the bag helps you take less radiation when you're sleeping hmm it, it doesn't though so yeah no we don't want any false advertisement accusements here <laughs> nonetheless let's jump into the weapons and stuff Doo -doo -doo. okay <laughs> anyways if you haven't seen it for a while, there's the punkish set from Mila Frio. Well, he has decided to continue it, so we've got the punkish hammer. And it's exactly what you would expect from that set. It's punkish. Moving on, we've got some stone tools for you. And this is a very majestic set. It is the Silver Leaf set by Le Crempe. It is fancy, it has nice adornments, and uh, the stone is very white and pretty. Next, we've got the pickaxe with it, of course, because you got to have a full set. Otherwise, you know, well, you got to have a full set. I mean, that's just how it works. Definitely very elegant. Then we got some other tools for you guys. This set is crazy looking. It's got like a emerald up on the front is, well, <laughs> aptly named the Emerald Relic set by Mad Shock. I think these are really cool looking and kind of right up Helk's alley. He likes the kind of like... Um, I don't know what style to call this. 
honestly. But this is his kind of style. If anyone's seen, if anyone's ever questioned all the tiki stuff, I think you understand what I'm saying. So there we go. Then, of course, it has to have a matching pickaxe, which oh, I just love the jade on it. I think the jade just looks really cool. Or not jade, emerald, sorry, emerald. I'm still stuck in the New Year mode. Emerald. There's other green rocks, German. Gosh. <laughs> Definitely a cool set. Next, we've got a bow from Mad, and it is the Cloud Shot bow, part of his Cloud set. It's a happy little set with simple little drawings, pretty little clouds, and some lightning bolts. And it, it might help calm you as you are shooting naked with a bow from wherever your safety may be. Definitely a very nice one, for sure. And something just blew up over there. <laughs> Probably a helicopter. All right. Next, we've got some crossbows for you, starting with the Snowball set. This is probably going to be a new set called the Snowballer from Diva Dan. And, well, if you've ever seen any Rust video ever, I'm sure someone's talked about snowballing. So here you go. It is the Snowball crossbow. <laughs> Definitely a idea I'm surprised no one else has come up with yet. Next, we've got another cool crossbow idea, and this one is actually made to look like a shotgun in the handle. I thought that was really cool. It's called the Band Machine, and it is definitely a cool little crossbow. I love that look of it. And it has kind of like a nice clean but torn up look as well, which I think is really nice. Fits that rust style. Next, we've got a python for you folks. And this one is pretty epic looking. I love the detail to it. This is the Headhunter Python by White. And it's just got all these crazy details. It looks really, really fresh. Especially aiming down the sight. It's so fancy looking. I, I just absolutely love look of this thing next we've got a couple crazy little smgs for you and this one's a continuation of little rangers little pony set or as i like to call it the vomiting unicorns um <laughs> so there's an lr out there and i guess he decided to make a custom smg and uh let's not forget the brony set moment moment of peace for the brony set uh why uh it, you know nothing happened to it other than the fact that help said no more so I don't know. We'll see what happens with this here. It's close enough, but again, it's a different person, different thing. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But uh, yeah, definitely a nice, goofy little gun. And I love that you shove a rainbow right back into its mouth when you reload. <laughs> Next up. Uh, whoop, there. Oh, oh my goodness, we're running ahead. There it is. Boom. We've got another kind of pinky looking SAR. Uh, this one is the Firestarter version 2. And it's got like this little gauge back here, which I thought was kind of cool. I know Hulk doesn't like the techie stuff, but I also just love the details to it. I think this thing's really unique looking, and uh, it, it's cool. I think it would fit into Rust quite nicely. Last for this set, we've got a cool looking star for you. <clears throat> this one, I believe, is brought to us by Jessen. It is the Night Racer Star. So, aiming down the sides here, you've got some little flags. It is a sawed off or cut off, a stockless. Wow, I, you know, <laughs> it is a stockless star. There you go. Definitely a cool little star. All right, and jumping to our last set, we've got a continuation in the new toy set. It is the Toy Blast Star by Sensei. And uh, we've got our little goblin guys staring at us when you aim down the sights. And it, it's just, I love the actual toy, the T. I, I love the way that was done. Um, I think it's a cool set. And the other one that got accepted is doing really well. So hopefully maybe this one can make it in. Or since we had two weeks go by, there's also an AK. I usually try not to show two things from the same artist if it's not a set. But this is a set, so hey. Uh, the AK is really epic. Of course, you got Mr. Goblin staring back at you, or whatever he is. AK-47 Toy Edition. And uh, I like the barcode on the one side here. Watch what it flips. There's the barcode. I like that. It's really cool. Definitely an awesome, fun little set. Moving on, we've got this really epic-looking AK. It is a stockless AK. And it is the Rage Bull from M. Damon. And yeah, oh man, I just love how clean this looks. This is such a cool set and I've loved the pieces from it. So I would definitely love to pick up this AK for sure. And uh, when it comes to glowing, the eyes actually glow on it. 
So I think this is our only glowing gun this week, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop on in. Boom, there you go. How cool is that? Let's flip it back over one more time. Just these eyes staring back at you. Very neat. Next, we've got kind of a silly little AK, and uh, I just love this one because the drawings on it. it. It looks like somebody just literally decided to turn their AK into an art project, and it, it's just really cool. It is the Memory AK from Kazor, and uh, you got the little rocket coming out, the hazmat guy, then over here you got like a butterfly and a wolf aiming down. I'm not sure this, that happy face got shot in the head after he ate something really sour, I think. And then we've got, of course, what looks like yellow glow sights, but there are no glow sights. And yeah, it's just really cool. Then there's the mom with the smiley face. Like, there's just so much stuff to this. It, it, I couldn't not show it. This thing's awesome. Uh, it, it just kind of captures the dorkiness of Rust, and I love it. Next up, we've got a very epic looking AK from the other side. It is the Fallen Angel by World. And this one is more raiderish, kind of punk looking. It's got some skulls and wings and stuff. It's red and black, but it's altogether kind of scrappy in a way as well. And uh, I think it fits into Rust quite well. People like the red and black colors, and of course, skulls sell well. So this is definitely a very cool one for sure. Lastly, this one is one I'm not sure on, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. This is the wooden AK, or the wooden toy AK. And I don't know, there's just something about it that just isn't quite right. But it's so unique looking. Like, it, it looks like it's almost fake. And I, I love that. So I want to go ahead and show it to you guys. See what you guys think about it. So sound off down in the comments for me. And let me know what your opinion on this. Because I can't quite nail down what it is about it that just isn't quite there. And uh, love to hear you guys what your opinion is on it. So that's going to do it, guys. This week is going to be the Force Update. So we should see some new content. I think they're going to merge some of the new turret things. If you haven't seen that, I did a video on it. Also, do not worry. They got rid of the rocket and multiple grenade launcher turrets. So it's not as OP, but you still have roof camping snipers. So we'll see how it all goes. There'll be some cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll be back on Thursday to give you the update information as well as what skins made it. Sound off down in the comments section to let me know which ones you like the best and give me any kind of feedback. I'll try to get to the right people. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.